Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Uh, in this video, we're just going to be walking through some basics for the Joomla admin. Uh, basics like how to log in, uh, how to access the user management, and then most importantly, how to reset a password. If your Joomla admin is compromised, hacked, or even if you just forget uh, the correct login information, there is a way to reset it through the database. Um, of course, this might seem very simple if you're a long-time Joomla user, but especially if it's new to you, uh, Joomla, despite its flexibility and potential, is not always the most user-friendly. So we're going to go ahead and walk you through some of the things that we spoke about in the article. So here we are at the Joomla login page. That's just your administrator login here. I've already got my uh, automatic fields uh, filled in, but... Okay, and here we are. This is the Joomla admin dashboard. We're focusing on users for this video, and then we're going to go into the PHP My Admin database to uh, change one of the passwords here. Okay, reset the password. Okay, so click on users and manage. Here you'll see everybody that's a user on your Joomla admin. Okay, I'm currently logged in as the super super user, the administrator. Okay, if I click on that user, okay, this is how I would go ahead and change the password if I needed to. So I type it there, confirm it. I won't need to do that right now, but we'll do it after resetting the password. And then I just hit save or save and close to get back to that user list, okay? So I'll quickly show you how to Reset. I'll go ahead and log out here. Once you're in your PHP MyAdmin database, um, you get to that by whatever host you're using. I'm using a local host, SAMP, uh, and I just clicked on PHP MyAdmin, and then I'm going to see this screen, and I can see the database that belongs to my Joomla site here on the left. I'm just going to click on that. Okay, I'm going to scroll down until I see the table that is prefixed users here. Okay, you will not see it on the left. You have to actually click on the database here and find this here. Okay, click there. Okay, I can see the same two users I could see from my Joomla admin. I'm going to go ahead and click edit. Right now you can see this value as the password because it's concealed, but I do want to change that. So in our article, uh, I provided the value here. Let me find it here, right here. Okay, actually I'll go ahead and copy it from the actual Joomla doc here just in case. Okay, copy that value. And I want to basically just replace what's there with, with what I just copied, okay? Scroll down and hit go. Okay, one row affected, that is the admin user. Okay, as you can see, the value we just pasted is now the password there. So this actually changes the password to secret. Now back at my Joomla login, if I type in secret, okay, as you can see, so the previous password was changed. Chrome is asking me to update the password, and I will for now. Then I'm going to go back into users. I'm going to find admin1, whom I just changed the password for. And then I'm going to change the password again. Okay. Let's see. I can't remember what I had it as before, but I'll go ahead and change it to something I'll remember. I believe, okay, this, my previous password was saved. So I'll just go ahead and use that password again. I think I remember what it was. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Save. Oh, they don't match. Okay. So I'm going to make a new one here. 
I've done this many times, so I couldn't remember exactly what my previous password was. Okay, fingers crossed this one works. Cool, so there we go, message, user saved. Go ahead, save and close. I'm gonna log out one more time just to show you. As you can see, I saved that secret, but I've changed it again, so. And there we are, okay? I'll get prompted again to update the password, and I will this time. So just a quick review, when you go into localhost, or if even if you're not using a local host, even if you have a live Joomla site, click on the Joomla database, down to users, select the user you need to change for, and use that value that we had copied and pasted that is included with the article. So as you can see, I've switched it back. This value has now changed, okay? And it's always a good idea if you do have to reset, uh, if it's something as simple as forgetting your password, that's fine. Just reset it and remember your new one. Uh, if you do think you've been hacked or somehow your Joomla admin has been compromised, it's good practice to check through all the users, make sure there's none of them that are unfamiliar. And if you think there's a real threat, then um, definitely go ahead and change the password for every single user, okay? So thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps. I know it's simple, but like I said, if you're just starting out with Joomla, uh, these things can be quite confusing. So enjoy and look forward to the next video. Thanks for watching.